Hello everyone, and welcome to the Poznan University of Medical Sciences. We hope that your orientation week is moving along smoothly. Now, Poznan is a very beautiful city, which will be your home for the next few years. And with that being said, this video just briefly wants to cover certain aspects of Poznan, as the safety precautions that you need to take, as well as the prevention of bullying and harassment to make your stay here as smooth as possible. Now, Poznan is a very popular and internationally recognized city. And according to foreigners, Poznan is the highest rated city in Poland when it comes to modernity, the friendliness of its people, its tolerance, ecology, and safety. Now, Poland itself is not very culturally diverse, and people are not used to contact with people of different cultures. However, the Polish people are usually very friendly and are curious about others and are very likely to help you and give you assistance if needed. Now, the safety of the student is of paramount importance, and a safe student is a happy student. Poznan as a city is very safe, however, just like many cities, it does have its risks, and therefore, some safety precautions should be taken. This includes, for example, if you're walking or jogging after sunset, take a friend with you. And whenever you do move, make sure that your belongings are not left unattended at the streets. Always make sure you lock your front door, your car, and make sure that you don't leave any valuable belongings inside or very uh, easily accessible. Pay attention to your wallets, phones, laptops, or other tech gadgets, and make sure that your bike is locked up. Lots of fun can be had in the city of Poznan, but when you do party, just be sure to party wisely. If you're at a party, bar, club, or any type of social gathering, just make sure you follow the general safety precautions that you would normally follow, such as not accepting drinks or food from strangers, uh, make sure you keep an eye on your drink, and if you do start feeling unwell, inform a friend. And make sure that if you are receiving any form of interaction that you do not consent to, make sure to verbalize it and to leave. The exception of the Riverside, it is not permitted to drink in public and you can be fined for doing so. Alcohol, nicotine, caffeine, and some medications are legal, however the possession and selling of other psychoactive substances is illegal. And the respective night hours, which are the hours where you are expected to be respectful of your neighbors, uh, be mindful of the noise you generate, is between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Women's health is an important aspect of total health. In Poland, realize that your reproductive rights may have changed, so make sure to become familiar with them. Reach out to EPSU Women's Health or HASA for more information or to ask any questions. Some examples of things to be familiar with are that emergency contraception, or Plan B, is available only by prescription. This includes other forms of contraception as well. Also, abortion is very restricted and in most cases illegal. Again, reach out to Women's Health or HASA to ask any questions and to clear things up. Free ob services are provided by the Centrum Druze Clinic at the Punkt Prophylaktiki Intimne. This is located on Voiskova. Register for an appointment at the website, on the Facebook page, or by phone registration. They offer a free pap smear and a free pelvic exam, and also speak English. Sexual health and safety. Remember that all sexual activity should be based on mutual consent. This involves both people involved saying yes. This does not just mean the absence of no. When you choose to get intimate, know who your partner is. Talk to them about sexually transmitted diseases and preferences about sex. Remember that you have the right to say no at any time during a sexual encounter, whenever you feel uncomfortable. Sex should be joyful and pleasurable for both partners, and above all else, should be respectful. Sexual harassment. In Poznan, there's something called the Nietonia campaign against sexual harassment. If you feel uncomfortable with a sexual encounter and that your boundaries have been crossed, but you aren't sure how to react, remember that sexual harassment is not a game. It does not mean flirting or getting hit on. Sexual harassment is any form of a sexual act that you did not want. It occurs when you say no or when you don't have the ability to say no. It can occur with someone you do not know at all or someone with whom you're in a committed relationship. Nietonia, or no means no, is a campaign that you can reach out to. Remember that you are not guilty and it is important to know where you can get help if you are a victim of sexual harassment. The Nietonia campaign provides a 24-hour crisis intervention center hotline in English and also locates safe bars and clubs throughout the cities that students can seek help from. Some locations include Mescalina, Dragon, Chocolada, and Project Lab, and others. Check out their website to learn more. Also, reach out to HASA about any of these issues. HASA is the Harassment and Assault Student Advocacy Group, and our mission is provided here in five points. 
We have a media campaign that focuses on advocacy and prevention. We hold workshops and seminars. We have student support officers within the RA system. We directly collaborate with the university counseling and psych services. And we directly collaborate with the crisis intervention point that we just talked about. At Pooms, there is zero tolerance for bullying and harassment. Now, bullying and harassment are issues that affect healthcare organizations and schools, not just in Poland, but in many countries. And even though some cases are less severe, they may still result in a poor mental health state and low career satisfaction in the victim. And in more severe cases, bullying may lead to depression, suicidal thoughts, and even suicide attempts. If there is a bully in your medical school that is creating a reckless environment for all involved, it is important that we do not incentivize this type of behavior by letting it slide. If we see something, we must make sure that we do something about it. And if you are being bullied, make sure to reach out and speak out loud. You do not need to suffer and you do not need to go through it alone. And seeking help is not a sign of weakness either. So make sure that you report any instances of bullying or harassment to the RAs, HASA, CAPS, and the Dean's office. If you suspect that someone is being bullied, pay attention to the warning signs. Don't be too pushy, but still let them know that you care and that they're not alone and make sure that they seek immediate help from the various support organizations at Pooms. After all, medical professions require top ethical standards, so any form of peer violence or harassment is unacceptable. As uncool as it may seem, it is important that you remove yourself from toxic situations as quickly as possible to avoid harm. If something is making you feel uncomfortable, you have every right to get away, and bullies often rely on peer pressure, so you have to resist it as best as you can. Collect evidence. If you are being bullied or you see an act of bullying, record and collect evidence if possible. This means taking notes, recording the situation by video or audio, taking screenshots of cyberbullying, saving any texts and emails, and taking any notes. Bullying is a repeated behavior, so records can help to document it and can help build a case to report it. In specific incidents, be sure to record the details, date, setting, perpetrators, and any other pertinent information to help build your case. Know your rights. You have rights as a student on this campus, and it is important that you know these rights and understand how they protect you. If a classmate is cyberbullying, report it to the school. If you receive physical threats or if a potential crime or illegal behavior is occurring, report it immediately to the police. Stalking and cyberstalking is also an offense, so report it to the police. For cyberbullying, remember that social media platforms have clear policies and reporting processes to get offensive content removed and to report the perpetrator. If you see bullying, say something. A major factor in continued bullying is the complicity from bystanders. So if you see someone being bullied, intervene in a way that is safe and non-escalating. If you can talk things down, do so. If you feel that you need to get an authority figure to handle the situation, do so. Do anything you can to prevent the situation from continuing. And finally, contact HASA for support. We have student support officers that are trained to help in situations with bullies. And last but not least, don't be a bully yourself. If you witness a student being cyberbullied, do not share the content because you then become a bully. Do not join in with the bully. Choose to post positive comments instead to shift the conversation in a positive direction. When recording an incident, do so only for evidence and remember to be respectful and be sensitive and not humiliate the victim. Never join in on the bullying. And make sure to report any bullying you see or encounter or are a victim to, to us at HASA. The force is with us. Remember, we build this community together and all of us are responsible for creating a friendly, safe, and prejudice-free environment.